All hope is not lost. Less than two hours ago, I was at a stranger's house filming for a Star Now project. Now, this is my second Star Now project this year. It's uh, my first full one because earlier this year I was filming one that was part three of a film we started in December. And it's also my first Star Now project since the so called update, the one that I was bragging about in two videos ago or something like that. Now, it actually made the casting uh, before the update. It's just that we had to continue it after it had happened because Star Now was down for about a week while the the website team was you know taking their time wrecking it. But we still managed to organize the the day, which actually got postponed. It was supposed to be last week till one of the crew members got COVID, so we had to give it another week. I mean, here's the other thing: I actually came all the way back uh, to Melbourne last week, an hour's drive, and then as soon as I arrived. Oh, hi Max, I'm sorry, tomorrow's shoot's cancelled because someone has COVID. But you know, uh, we still managed to organise it through a broken chat system. Yes, that's something I didn't mention in my previous video on this, is that as well as everything else, the messaging system is all scrambled up. It's not looking good. And so, nonetheless, we still managed to make it happen and it was still a great day of filming today. But what I'm sure you probably already guessed I was going to bring up is a simple question. What did the other people there, who are probably all Star Now users as well, what did they all think of this so-called update? The very ill-affected reverse to what was supposed to have happened update. Well, I will begin with this. The second person I spoke to beyond the director was the lead actor playing the main character, obviously. And I was talking to him, I asked him simply, are you here through Star Now? And unsurprisingly, he said yes. And like I usually talk to with most people on film sets, I ask them, is Star Now the best website in your opinion? Because it is for me. And like pretty much everyone I've spoken to, in fact, I think so far everyone I've spoken to, I said yes. And I mentioned how I don't recall meeting one person on a film set who thinks backstage is better than Star Now. And that's when he mentioned, well, now, since you know what, it seems to me like backstage now is Star Now. It's sort of rather Star Now is now backstage. I mean, you know, backstage owns it, so there you go. And we were talking about the disappointments that had happened, the, the disappearance of the recommendations the disappearance of the following system, of the confirmed uh, casting number. All these things gone. One of the worst company decisions ever since Kodak Films' refusal to go digital and DVD stores' refusal to become streaming services. But he did point out one thing that I hadn't really picked up on. He mentioned how, what if this is all just the process of an update? Because he also noticed how, apparently, Starnow had promised a bunch of perks and positives that we haven't yet seen on the website. So, yeah, what if this update is not complete? Which, I mean, could be concerning, but it could be a good thing too. Because it seems like maybe this is just the interface. Maybe there is going to be an actual update, not what we've just seen. I mean an actual update in which it actually does improve and get better. We well, can only hope it does now. And uh, he pointed out that yes, he knew a lot of people who were willing to leave Star Now if they didn't get back their recommendation systems, for example, or they just didn't get back their call profile. Because the actor I spoke to, he was talking about how he lost so much of his data. And nonetheless though, what he said about how this might not be, you know, the actual thing. This might just be part of the process. It leaves me with some hope. And all us Star Now users, we need to have some hope. Now, about the movie itself, uh, I, w I won't give anything away, but I won't spoil it like I often do. But all I do know is that, unfortunately, I think it might be a private film project, which means it might not go public, and I might not be able to repost it, even if it doesn't. But maybe it will. 
I will try and post in some snippets or some behind the scenes footage if I can get away with it, which I probably can. And so I guess, so yeah, it was a good day, but everyone who uses Star now, who I've spoken to, is disappointed with this update. I've seen little to no positive reactions and responses to it, and it could potentially cause a collapse of the corporation. Not all of Backstage, but just Star Now. And that's a, that's a pretty hardcore loss for the Backstage team. Because if Star Now is their best website that they've got under their belt, and they lose all their users on there, well, that's pretty devastating for them. So I'm sure that, all things considered, they're going to have to change something. That's what Marcus the actor said is that with enough boycotts of it or enough uproar, they need to make a change or they're going to go broke. Now, as for all the rest of us, like I say, this is probably not the end of the update. I think things are going to turn around a bit and get better or they're probably just going to take it back, take Star Now, put it back the way they found it, which is probably the best case scenario. And either way, even if they don't, even if it rem remains the way it is, looking like backstage, remember, lots of people have made it big through backstage. In fact, as far as modern times go, it's probably the, the majority of young actors these days probably do, and actresses alike. Because, I mean, it's the world's biggest or one of the biggest casting agencies out there. How could it not be? So, that in mind, if Star Now is the same, well, same logic. So, yeah. My fellow Star Now users who are not really happy with what's happened, let's have hope. Let's hope they either put it back the way they found it, or we find a way of using what we've got here. Remember, the cavemen had nothing but thick stones and the probably at that point not very evolved brains, and they managed to turn themselves into us, the smartest race of animals and things in the world. I mean, with and we do some not very smart things as well, but the point is, even if Star Now remains the way it is, we can still use it to the best we can, and things will be fine. Let's have hope.